are building the LEGO Creator 3 in 1 Ferris Wheel set today. 31119. This set is made up with 1002 pieces and 5 minifigures. The retail price for this set is 150 Australian dollars, which I think is on the steep end. I did manage to get my set for $99 though, so hold out for a discount if you're not in a hurry to get the set. This is not a small set at all. The finished product, if you're going for the Ferris wheel design, is 27 centimeters tall, 15 centimeters deep, and 26 centimeters wide. Definitely a great amusement park addition, especially if you didn't manage to get the earlier Creator Expert Ferris Well set released a few years ago. I didn't manage to get that set before it retired and now it's very, very unaffordable. So I'm settling for this set. It is a three in one set, so you have three designs to choose from, which I think are actually all very good designs. So we've got the main Ferris well, a bumper car set, and also a swing bow set. So technically you can get three of these boxes, make all three designs and create your little amusement park. You can see the details of all three designs on the back of the box. I do think the Ferris wheel set is the most grand and complete looking one though. If you like my videos, please don't forget to click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Let's now open the box and see what it looks like inside. This set is made up with seven bags of bricks separated into five different building stages, two green base plates and three instruction books for the three designs. I don't have a Ferris wheel in my amusement park, so I'm definitely going for the main design on the packaging. I'll build the set now and after that we can have a look at the details together. Let's build!
completed. Lego Creator 3 in 1 Ferris wheel set. Not a bad size at all. We've got the main build, five minifigures, and two little bonus builds. Let's have a look at our minifigures first. There are two minifigures with the same torso and leg piece. Looks like they are both amusement park staff. Blue and white stripes on their top. The white on the blue torso definitely seems a little bit underprinted. That seems to be a very common issue with white prints on Lego bricks. It's just a little bit too thin of a coat to completely cover the base color. This minifigure has a blonde ponytail and it is a two-faced minifigure. And this is a single-faced minifigure with a very cheerful looking expression and a top hat. Our next minifigure is holding a balloon, animal-shaped balloon. A very nice print on the torso with the golden belt buckle and necklace. Two-faced minifigure with a very cheerful alternative expression at the back. The next minifigure I believe is holding a fairy floss or might be an ice cream. Wearing a hoodie, two-faced minifigure, very interesting alternative expression at the back. So it looks like he's got a mouthful of the snack he is eating. Very cute. And the last minifigure is a kitty sized minifigure with the short version legs. Simple white sweater with red stripes. Two-faced minifigure, happy face at the front. Slightly worried or scared face at the back that might express how he feels when the cart on the ferris wheel gets very high on the top. There's also an animal buildable figure, which is a little cute, I think, sausage dog. Very simply structured, cleverly used the arch piece as the body of the dog. Now, bonus builds. We've got a ticket box. Clearly a ticket box with a printed 2x1 tile on the top that says ticket. Colorful rainbow roof. Not too much detail inside, a little cash register which is a printed brick and a clear box which will be what's used to serve the ice cream. The body of the ticket box is in a sky blue which matches with the main structure of the very well. The other bonus build we have in this set is this balloon card. We've got some animal shaped balloons attached to the cart. I think butterfly and maybe a pig and just another round green balloon. Very colorful cart, kind of also like a rainbow color which matches with the rest of the theme. Now let's have a look at our very exciting main build. Our ferris wheel sitting on two square green base plates 16 by 16 base plates not too much detail on the ground level we've got a few little flowers here and there and a blue bin next to the stairs and that's about it gray stairs leading up to the right with a simple looking white rail i think this is quite accurate usually with amusement park rides you do have these relatively simple looking stairways you can see the technical mechanics here, which is the main play feature of this set. And two transparent round studs, a transparent red and a green, which is the light indicator for the ride. Even less details on this side, we pretty much can only see the blue frame that's holding up the structure. That's the same structure on both sides, but we have a bit more details at the front. A cloud shaped sign with the riding fun on it and the yellow bars on each grid of the, of the ferris wheel frame indicates the sunlight. It's also got some transparent studs on the sunlight bars, which is transparent yellow and orange. I can kind of imagine them being lit up on the ride. We've got eight cards in total, kind of in rainbow colors, green and blue, teal and green followed by blue and purple and last but not least orange and red they can dangle a bit on the right but they're super secure because it's actually secured by these black pieces on both sides which we do have to make sure they are pushed in as far as possible otherwise it can make the whole ferris wheel get stuck when we turn it these are interesting choices they're actually black hammer pieces 
can see the hammerhead. We've got eight cards all together, two of each color, and the door of the card can be opened. With these studs, where you can have the minifigure either standing or sitting in the cart. Definitely looks more complete with the minifigure inside. The main feature of this set is definitely the ferris wheel. We've got a handle at the front where you can turn and make the ferris wheel rotate. In. And it works in both directions, so it turns in the way you decide you turn the handle. I guess it's definitely an option to add your own motor to this function to make this whole set motorized. If you have an amusement park Lego section, I think this is a wonderful addition. It's not too expensive, a good size, wonderful colors, with some very cute side builds. So something that would definitely add a lot of color to your Lego amusement park.